Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video, it is about, you guessed it, the police. That's P-O, uh, lease. So today's video, I'm gonna talk about uh, the police and their undercover cars. So. I'm OG, y'all new to the game. If you've ever been to Arizona, you know that the police love their undercover vehicles. I'm sure it's many other places, but for some reason in Arizona, there are a ton of undercovers. So they got your boy uh, once, mm, yeah, once, one time. Uh, and <laughs> I ended up getting pulled over for going a hundred miles per hour. So we were driving it was thanksgiving and it was a yellow mustang and i was like hey i bet you this guy wants to race and i literally floored it on the freeway from 80 to 100 and yeah i won and he pulled me over so <laughs> that sucked the mustang was an undercover cop he was in a yellow Mustang. It was tinted windows. I did not know it was got. So stupid me, but yeah, they got me. So I didn't end up giving it, getting a ticket. They actually let me go. So I lucked out on that in the end, but I was much more cautious and I've never said, I bet you this guy wants to race again since that day. And that happened to be in 2018. So doing some research, I found that there is actually a law that they were trying to pass saying so I actually found house bill 2384 which notes a driver of a motor vehicle who willfully or attempts to elude a pursuing official law enforcement vehicle is guilty of a class 5 felony so felony guys so that got thrown out and it is no longer uh, a possibility at the moment of being passed uh, as being a law. So I'm not a lawyer, I don't know what the hell all that legal stuff is, but so with that being thrown out, you can continue to drive. I would not suggest it, but you can continue to drive if you're being pulled over by a vehicle that you believe might not be a police officer. So just to give a point of reference, uh, there was a situation also that happened in 2018 where uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this or remember it, but it was a Infiniti, I believe G35, and it had lights and it was attempting to pull somebody over. The person did not pull over because it looked strange to them. They contacted the police and they informed them that they were being followed by a, what they thought to be an undercover officer. They found the guy later on, but he uh, was arrested for impersonating an officer. So very important to stay on your toes. Um, if somebody is following you with lights and sirens, you don't believe it's a police car, I would suggest calling 911 while you're driving at normal speed and then just verifying that there is an undercover agent in the area and that way you can stay safe because uh you know people are doing crazy things nowadays so i wouldn't want anybody to get hurt or um you know kidnapped or whatever the case so always be safe out there what i'm going to talk about next is what type of undercover car i've seen so i was in tucson and for some reason tucson has the craziest undercovers i've ever seen so i've seen a hummer charger Challenger, uh, I've seen a Mustang, I've seen uh, Ford pickup trucks like F-150s, I've seen um, minivans, I've seen like cars you wouldn't even think like old Hyundai Elantras, like it's, it's insane. So I don't know what their budget is, but some of these cars are pretty high end. So I'm not sure if they were impounded 
or if they were donated or whatever the case is but uh the undercovers are, are they're dipping they, they 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 got some they got some wheels so i'd just be careful out there guys always try to do the speed limit stay safe out there but yeah it, it's it's crazy just to give you guys a point of reference how much an undercover car cost i have no idea but the yellow 2018 ford mustang gt that pulled me over msrp for that car is somewhere around thirty-five thousand dollars. plus the police spend another about three to four grand putting all their equipment in the computer you know the uh, lights and and all whatever the heck else they put in the car so you're looking at somewhere around forty thousand dollars for that mustang so a normal suv that the police uses cost about forty thousand dollars thirty five thousand for the vehicle uh thirty five to thirty seven thousand and then another three to four thousand to outfit it with all the police uh decal the uh, lights the cages and everything else that they need to do their job and have that vehicle so with that price I believe that spending $40,000 on a Mustang GT, which is a two-door coupe, you cannot put any bad guys in the back of that thing. It is simply used to trick you, pull you over, and ticket you. Um, I kind of think that that's unfair because uh, the police should be there to serve and protect or protect and serve, however it goes, not to trick and trap. So with the SUVs like the Ford Explorer, they're able to keep more gear. They're able to apprehend people, uh, put people in the back of the police car with the Mustang. They're probably gonna have to pull you over and if they wanna arrest you, then call another vehicle. So you have two vehicles involved now, then take you to jail for criminal speeding, if that's what you're getting hit for. So I think that uh, just my opinion is uh, they should use cars that are fully usable if they're going to spend $40,000, not the Challengers and the Camaros and the Mustangs and whatever else car they pull out the their pocket to, you know, try to speed trap you. Um, I do agree that, you know, there's too many speeders out there uh, when I'm on the freeway. I, I try to maintain a normal speed, you know, 65, 70. Uh, but there are people flying past me going well over 100 miles per hour and it is dangerous for everybody So I, I don't fully agree with speeding up and down the freeway all day, but um, I also don't agree with uh, the the trickery going on um, I think we also just uh, lay off the pedal a little bit, but hey uh, As long as there's cars that go fast uh, people are gonna go fast in them. So yeah, I can't really hate I've been guilty of going uh, <laughs> over the speed limit by quite a bit a couple times but I try to keep it under control and um, you know just the fear of not really even getting pulled over but harming somebody uh, is, is something that I keep in the back of my head and it always makes me lift the you know foot off the pedal so uh, that's the video for today guys um, hopefully you liked it if you have any 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 comments about maybe uh, uh, vehicles you've seen that are undercover police cars uh drop it in the comment i want to see what you guys have seen like the craziest undercover cars that you've seen uh in the united states because i know in like dubai they they are rolling like lamborghinis and, and ferraris but in the united states what's the craziest police car you've seen um i would say the top craziest one i've ever seen was uh definitely got to be the corvette so <laughs> Um, yeah, drop it in the comments, like the video if you uh, enjoyed it, and then don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys later. Police now, the Police now, I don't know the song, but I sing it all day. Hey, hey, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? What you go, what you go, what you gonna do when the police...
come for you. Hey.